First name JC on, last name Ditto. JC on Ditto. Alright. So. Yeah, I don't wanna be a player no more. Cause my guys call me Cristiano. Mr. Ronaldo. I'm on Nintendo. JC on Ditto. Alright, so boom. Alright, so today we're basically gonna talk about my trip to Orlando. Well, it's Trans Talk Tuesday. So it's basically gonna be a trans talk about what happened to me while I was in Orlando. Um a little minor situation, a little you know, touchy feely topic about, you know, Orlando. So boom. Um what happened was I was in Orlando, right? I went to Orlando with my friend, my best friend and um our other friend. We basically went on a trip out there or whatever. So I got hot, you know, I had to take it off. So we was out there, whatever the case may be, and, okay, maybe I want my hat back on. I'm a little indecisive, which I think, I mean, it's not going to matter, because I'm recording, pre-recording, this is pre-recorded, feel me, anywho, so, we went to Orlando, and, you know, they got a park out there called Aquatica, so, now, like I told y'all, y'all don't really fully know how my chest looks, because I haven't been that comfortable yet to tell you guys or show you guys how it actually you know comes about so um when i do go out in public my chest i don't like right now i don't have to have anything on like i don't have nothing on you guys won't see nothing if i wear a tank top i don't have to wear anything i don't have to put any now a binder normally is what most trans men use a binder is basically uh, like a tank top that's, you know, like a compression to compress your chest so that it gives you, the, you know, an illusion of having pecs or things of that nature. So, I wore a binder for my first time and stopped wearing it like about three years ago because it was, it felt so uncomfortable. I was sweating. It just was compressing my chest. It just hurt it. It was just a lot of pain and I just couldn't deal with it. So... That's, that was the day I started working out. I said, look, you're going to have to do what you got to do so that you don't have to wear this. So from there, anyways, when we get to Orlando, I usually wear KT tape. So it's a tape. It's like a, a muscle tape that people use, like a black muscle tape most people use for like muscle um, tension. But I use it for my chest because it, you know, because my nipple placement is not the proper place it's supposed to be. So reasons why if I go in public and I don't wear my tape sometimes certain stuff like if my shirt gets cold or my tin cup gets cold or wet certain things show that are not supposed to show in a certain light so um while we were at Aquatica we were at a couple of parks so the we were at a, the Aquatica Park in Orlando so while we were there we did a couple of um I was in a lazy pool. I was cool. Like, I was wet. Um, my shirt was wet. You couldn't really tell nothing. People, I was just looking real buff and real nice. So, nobody was really paying me no mind. Now, we went to this, um, this ride. We had this ride. That it was like, we did all the rides there. So, it was one more left. So, I was like, oh, yeah, I want to do that one. Because it was like dolphins. Like, when you come down, you see mad dolphins on your way down. So, I said, yeah, I want to do this ride. Boom. So, me and my friends go up there. I'm all excited. I go up there, and the guy's like, because now, mind you, my tank top is a uh, um, cotton, cotton material, Hanes. So, the guy's like, oh, you, yo, bro, you got to take your tank top off. I said, wow. He like, oh, because this slide, you have to have um, whether no shirt on or a specific kind of um, t-shirt. Or it has to be a workout or, comp like, it has to be a certain material. I forgot what the material he said it was, but it had to be a certain material. So, I'm like, damn. I can't take my tank top off. He's like, why? I said, I, I don't want to take my tank top off. He said, why? I said, I, I just don't feel like I should have to take my tank top off. He said, yeah, but I can't let you on the ride like this because it can get stuck. Because I guess certain rides, it wasn't his fault or nothing like that. Certain rides, you can't have certain clothes on. Now, him not knowing, you know, my situation, he's just looking me up and down like, why this nigga don't want to take off his tank top? Like, it's not that serious. Like, you mad buff. This, this should be no reason why you don't want to take your tank top off. And it's just, that hit me like, damn, Jay, you like, you know, like that right there hit me that day because it's like, damn, you missed out on the ride because you don't have your surgery yet. Because if I had my surgery, I wouldn't care. I would have go right in there, take my tank top off, would have been good. 
So my friends was like bummed out. It was like, oh, why he got to take a sink top off? Uh, I'm like, nah, don't worry. Like, it's cool. So I was like, nah, y'all could go ahead. Y'all could enjoy the ride. I'll go down. So I went, I walked down. And when I came down, they was like, oh, the ride, the ride was trash anyways. Forget about it. Uh, uh. I'm like, damn, y'all ain't got to say all that. So um, I ended up, we ended up leaving. And on my way, I was like, I just kept thinking about it a little bit. Like, damn, like, it's not like it didn't, like, put me down but it just made me like yo i cannot wait till i get surgery like there's so many things that i feel like i'm blocked from like i want to be able to like walk outside and just do my own thing like i don't want to always have to put a a tape on now imagine other people that actually have to wear a binder and don't have a choice but to wear a binder like it's sweaty under there it's hot it's it's uncomfortable it makes your back hurt it's painful because imagine something just pressing on your chest and if you're a, if if you're a woman, you should know how that could feel. Like it feels like it's horrible. You know, it's it's an uncomfortable feeling, and um, it was it was it was a little it was a bad experience for me that for just for that small part. But I was good. Like you know, I was able to do mad rides and be in a pool. I I was never able to be in a pool two years ago. Do you understand what I'm saying? I, I wouldn't even get next to a pool because my chest wasn't even there at all. I still had a probably like a B cup or a C cup, I think. So I was definitely not getting close to a pool. So it's like it's like a, a step closer each each year. You know, I'm getting closer to where I want to be physically with myself anyway. So I'm just like whatever. You understand what I'm saying? So, um, yeah. So that was my storyline for Trans Talk Tuesday. Um. Other than that, I'm just going to put a little thing out there in the air. If you guys, someone was talking about basically, if you're trans, when is the best time for you to tell people that you're trans, that you want to date? For me personally, if I'm dating someone, if they're not trans themselves, obviously if they're trans, then they already know most likely that I'm trans. If most people know me, they already know that I'm trans. And if I'm pursuing someone that's trans, I already, you know what I'm saying? But most people don't want to date someone who's trans or whatever the case may be. I've dated, you know, cisgendered women, women who are born women. I've dated trans women. I've dated, you know what I'm saying? So it's not like I've, I've been on both sides. So if I was to date a cisgender woman again, I would tell her off bat. Like if I was, let's say we exchange numbers and we're actually flirting. If you're in a casualty of flirting with someone and you see yourself actually dating this person, I think it's, vital that you tell them so that nobody feels lied to or, or betrayed or deceived or manipulated or anything of that nature avoid any confusion by just telling the person like look boom this is my situation what do you have to lose because if the person is not with it they're not with it why would you want to wait till anybody's feelings are involved or your feelings are involved for you to tell them and then they're like oh no i don't want to go that route give the person the option from the beginning so you spare yourself a problem and you spare them a problem and if you and they'd be like oh i don't want to deal with it but then they come back and be like you know what maybe i like your vibe don't think that you know what i'm gonna vibe with them and because they're gonna like my vibe they're gonna be okay with me being trans that's not always gonna be the case they might be even angrier at you for holding it off and they're vibing with them on that matter. And now they like you and they feel like you lied to them. Yes, you're not obligated to tell anybody your business. But this is someone that you are going to be dating. You should tell them. Before it's too late. Don't wait two months in when you're about to have sexual activities or anything like that. When feelings are involved. To tell someone I'm trans. That's a big, that's not, that's not something small to tell someone. That's big. So I think you should just get it out the way, make it easier for you and for that person as well. That's just my opinion. And that's what I do for myself. If I see a random person in the street, I tell them I'm trans. Now, if you know me from YouTube or anything like that, then, then you just know. But if you don't know me, then I don't have to tell you anything. You know, I'm not walking around with a sign on my head like, hey, you, hey, I'm trans. You get what I'm saying? I'm not, I'm not doing that. So, um, yeah, that was, that's one thing. And, um, for trans women, I'm very like, always like real worried about trans women because a lot of times, a lot of trans women do date, um, cisgendered male, whether they be gay or straight, but most of the time it's straight males and, you know, it gets held off for a while and fear of rejection makes you not want to tell the person, but honestly, 
honesty goes a long way and being open with someone goes a long way. I think you just let them know if you if you consider yourself dating them or being with them intimately. If you don't see yourself talking to this person on a serious level, you are not obligated to tell them anything. This is your business, whatever that may be. But once you involve them in it, it becomes their business as well. So the best thing for you to do is to let them know what the situation is so that you guys are both on the same page. I am getting hot. Um, yeah, so that's basically what I had for you guys today for Trans Talk Tuesday. If you have any questions, any regards to anything that you want me to touch upon on next week tuesday um this video is supposed to upload i really hope it uploads on the day on tuesday but if you have anything else for trans talk tuesday for next week tuesday let me know i will talk about it we'll you know i'll probably bring some of my trans friends or anybody else or whatever the case may be and we'll chop it up on whatever that topic is this was me jc on ditto first name jc on last name ditto and you were watching my channel. Love y'all. Peace.